I successfully cloned Alex Hormozzi in real life. And the best part is that it only took me 20 minutes to do it. Kinda. This right here is Pocket Hormozzi. Or... That's what I like to call him. But what you wouldn't know is that he's actually an AI model trained off of all of Alex's data. He's an AI bot that I made that is specifically trained off of all of Alex's public data. That could be anything from podcasts, YouTube videos, all of his tweets, OnlyFans posts, etc. You get the point. He can answer any question that I have about business. And the best part is that it's as if the answer is coming from Alex himself. He can take Alex's fundamental business knowledge and apply it directly to my situation with personalized advice. Obviously, if you're watching this video, chances are you're probably not directly connected to Alex Hormozzi. If you are, text me on Twitter, Zoro the Wiz. that is my username. But the point is, Alex isn't accessible to 99.9% .9 of the population, but his business insights are absolutely invaluable. Now sure, you can spend hours upon hours of your day watching his content and studying his videos, but then what actual time do you have to put towards building your business? So after consulting with the voices in my head, I asked myself, how could I make it so that I have direct access to Alex Hormozzi? without having to waste hours of my time watching his videos. No offense. What if there's a way I could get in direct contact with Alex without having to be worth nine figures? Thus, I set off on my quest to build Alex Hormozzi, the answer to all of my business problems. Today, I'm going to share that journey with you guys and more importantly, show you how you can get your hands on this bot as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now, straight off the bat, I know I needed three things. First and foremost, the actual chatbot build. Second, a database with all of Alex's information. Information. And third, an API I can plug it into. API meaning just, you know, WhatsApp or Telegram, whatever platform I need to use. Now, first things first, the chatbot build. The build itself was actually the easiest part. It only took me 20 minutes and it was only comprised of four separate working parts. Now, the first piece was a pretty simplistic note. It was basically a programmed greeting. So whenever someone would say hi to the chatbot, it would basically just give them a greeting back. Like, yo, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Now, immediately it would send them to the second step, which I called the ask and answer step. Now this would ask the user if they had any questions about business for Alex himself, and they would take that information and respond accurately. So Pocket Hormozzi would ask the user, what kind of questions do you have for me? And the user would answer with something like, how do I craft my $100 million offer? Or any bulking tips, right? Anything that directly applies to Alex Hormozzi. And then the bot would directly ask the database, which is all the information that we collected on him, and give them a proper response. But see, it wasn't enough, because while I did want the bot to give out the correct answer, I I also wanted it to respond like Alex Hormozzi himself, not just some predetermined AI response that's like, Alex Hormozzi said this, right? So this is where those prompting skills really come into play. We wanted to brainwash this bot into thinking it was Alex Hormozzi himself. Now from here, we had the last step, which is to create some kind of feedback loop. The last thing I wanted was the conversation just to abruptly end with the user, not answering their questions, or if they had more questions, I didn't want them to have to restart the process. So after giving us our answer, Alex Hormozzi or Pocket Hormozzi would ask us if we have any further questions. And if the user said something like, no, that's all, or I'm good for now, then the conversation would end. But if the user said, yeah, I have more questions or proceeded to ask another question, it would loop back to the original response so that it could query the database again and pull that information to respond to their second question. So we had a very basic chatbot build and it worked pretty well. But the second piece of this puzzle was finding an API or a platform that I wanted to get it plugged into. Obviously, no one going to be sitting in their bot press account chatting back and forth with the bot. I wanted to make it accessible just right here on your phone, hence the name Pocket Hormozy. So I had two options that came to mind. The first of those being WhatsApp and the second being Telegram. Now, in hindsight, Telegram was the easiest option, but me being stupid, I decided to try WhatsApp first. After running into a ton of errors and trying to troubleshoot that for a couple hours, I ended up running back to Telegram and discovered that what I spent two hours doing on the WhatsApp API, I could have done in five minutes on Telegram. So that was a fun discovery. I managed to get it to work on Telegram. All you had to do was end up using this, this bot father thing, and then you could actually just plug in your bot key right there. And it was super simple. Like I said, it took like five minutes. So we had two out of three of the pieces of the puzzle, but we were still missing one thing. And that was the database or at least the rest of it. Now you'd expect this to be the easiest part, but boy, oh boy, this was the hardest one. I surfed the internet for a while, clicked on some spam links, landed on some raunchy websites when finally I found it. Alex Hormozzi's brain. Not actually, but it was a database comprised of every podcast, YouTube video, book, YouTube short, tweet that Alex has 
ever put out. My eyes lit up. But unfortunately, nothing prepared me for the next steps. There were hundreds upon hundreds of files in this Google Drive. Not a big deal, right? I went ahead and downloaded the Google Drive folder and I tried to import all the files into BotPress until I discovered something horrid. All the files that I had tried to import were MD files. Now, BotPress does not accept MD files, right? If they take TXT, you know, doc files, PDFs, but they do not accept MD files. So I was met with a situation in which I had to convert hundreds upon hundreds of MD files into TXT files. Not a big deal, right? You know, you head to Cloud Convert, you upload all of them, might take a second, but you get all of them down. What I also discovered is that most free converting services only allow up to, you know, five files or a certain data limit at a time. Now I could have upgraded for like $20, but I'm a masochist or something, and I just, I didn't feel like spending the money. I decided to take the pain up front. I single-handedly converted all of the files, five files at a time, so over the next few days and after a couple ordered wellness checks, I had finally completed it. I successfully converted all the files and got them imported into the bot. Now came the final test to find out if Hormozy bot or Pocket Hormozy was actually functional. I went back to Pocket Hormozy on Telegram and asked him to answer some of the deepest, darkest secrets that only Alex Hormozy on YouTube would know. And it worked. After painstakingly spending 20 whole minutes putting this thing together, it finally worked. I had my very own pocket version of Alex Hormozy that I could ask any question at any time and get a proper Alex Hormozy response, which of course is an incredibly valuable resource to have. That is until I get to meet Alex Hormozy himself, which would hopefully be very soon. And you can bet your bottom dollar that that's going to happen. Now that will be all for today's video, guys. If you want to get access to the bot, I have the bot press template down in the description below. I also have the telegram link that you can use to chat with him directly. And if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I actually spent the time building the bot, be sure to let me know down in the comments below as well, because I'd be more than happy to show you guys step by step. Maybe we do like a live stream or something. I don't know, but that'd be, that'd be pretty sick. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to smash the subscribe button as well. So you don't miss another upload. Without further ado, I will see you guys later. Pocket Hormozy will too.